A bicolor right here. This species I find to be one of the prettiest species because the black and just the big tail. I find it to be the prettiest species. This is a desert species, so it's on just sand right here. This is probably really poor stuff to put it on. That's I'm gonna be moving it to over here. Which is fifty like fifty percent sand and fifty percent excavator clay. Just uh excavator clay burn substrate and then just sand up at co. So that's the substrate. This is a medium critter keeper for his size. He's not that big. And these guys are sit and wait, wait scorpions, which means they're gonna sit there inside the burrows and wait for something to pass by and then they'll catch it. As opposed to going out and finding something. So they're more inclined to to be to sit in their burrows, but he comes out at night. <laughs> I just fed him. He's eating the whole thing. He, he just I put it in there, he went right up and grabbed it, stung it to death. Heat, I use heater to heat my entire room. If you prefer, you can use a heat lamp, get the red bulb, not the black lights. The black lights are bad. And I don't know what kind of cage you have, but this is the lid to the curry keeper. I would put it somewhere like right here. Depending on, it just depends on your circumstances. Uh, I don't really know how you put a heat lamp on a critter keeper. I would just prefer to put them in like a 10 gallon and then you can just put heat lamp directly on top of the wire cage because it won't hurt the wire. Uh, do not use a heat pad, especially if he's in a critter keeper like this because the plexiglass just heats up, it doesn't transfer heat at all and this will get like to 100 degrees and if the scorpions touch it they'll burn themselves. This plexiglass can get really really hot. So do not use a heating pad. Even if you're using like a glass tank which does convey the heat, don't use a heater pad because they like to burrow. They burrow to avoid the heat because they're from the desert so it's better if it's, if it's not a heating pad. Water, I offer them a pop lid filled with water every week or so. Don't spill it into the substrate. A bicolor are very prone to mycosis, uh, which is they get from too much humidity. It's very bad, and they're very prone to it, so you want to keep the water to a minimum, so you're going to want to take this out. So I just keep it in there like one, once a week, once a night, every week. And I've never seen them drink from it, so. But I normally sleep. Hide. You use one of these. It's just from uh, PetSmart, I think. You can just use any rocks you found. Just bake them in the oven, like at 400 degrees or 300 degrees, to kill all the bacteria, if you're going to do that. But I'd, he's already in a burrow. I just destroyed his burrow. I feel bad. Just. I'll just put him back. Just put it down. He's already in a little crevice right there, so he'll be fine. Don't put him directly on it, but I had just taken this off. So, he's going to fit perfectly. But don't put it directly on him. Okay. Uh, Venom, this is 4 out of 5 on the Venom scale is how they rate it. So, that means it's very poisonous. Do not get stung by this guy. Do not reach your hand to the tank. Do not handle it at all. I don't care if you think of being brave by handling it. Don't do it. I mean, it's just dumb. Like... Especially if you have an allergic reaction and then have an anaphylactic shock and then die. It's not going to be pretty. I mean, I am I feel pretty safe about putting my hand in the cage like that, but I mean, even then, I, I don't really like risking it that much. It's just much easier than using tongs and a pencil to move, move like a giant rock like this. Because this guy, temperamental-wise, is really calm. So, you're just going to want to know the temperaments of your scorpions. Like, Seagrasilis, pretty active, pretty riled up, but if, if I like go in the cage, they're going to run. These guys will run, my LQ will like attack me. He is very, she actually, is very temperamental. 
and very angry. But this guy right here, so you just come to know the temperament. Communal, not communal at all. They like to eat each other. Uh, during malts, if they malt, they'll eat the weak one. Buying them, buy them from a reputable dealer. Go on some fo scorpion forms. I go on arachno boards. Just make sure you find reviews for them, because there are people that will scam you and do bad and do bad business. It's just some people are just don't know criminals, I guess. They'll send you bad scorpions, dead scorpions, or and won't replace them, or just send you nothing. It just scam you completely. Uh, that's pretty much it. I'm gonna put this guy back. I just fed him. So he feels all nice and safe. That's pretty much it. Uh, thanks for watching. Subscribe if you like the videos.